the Thursday night game between Dallas and Chicago. Brandon, we talked on the Thanksgiving podcast about how Mitchell Trubisky was playing a little bit better. And he played a little bit better once again here. You know, not a tough matchup. Dallas's defense, once you adjust her schedule, has not been a good one this year. But Trubisky looks a lot better now than he did in the past. Uh, 244 yards for him, three touchdowns. Uh, he was four times the NFL average in a per drop back efficiency based on number of virus metrics. Since returning, he's got 13 touchdowns and six interceptions. The overall efficiency has been below average. But I think for me, the most important thing is that he ran 10 times. He has seven, four, and ten attempts his past three games. He's running the ball again. Uh, that gives him fantasy potential. Uh, he looked good. He looked athletic. He looked healthy. You talked about his rushing. Earlier this year, through the first 11 weeks, his maximum rush attempts per game in a game was four, and he had not exceeded uh, 15 rushing yards. Since then, he's gone seven attempts, four attempts, and ten attempts, and 63 yards on Thursday night. And last year when Trubisky had these ceiling games where he was like actually being a kind of like a must-have DFS asset. A lot of it was because of his rushing. Is it to the point where you will now use him in DFS in more middling matchups? Or, because I think that we'd both agree that he's in play for plus matchups now. Would you go there in a more middling matchup or do you need to see more before you fully commit to that? Yeah, I needed it to be like a a, a tiny slate, a single game slate for me to want to play Mitchell <laughs> Trubisky. But I mean, yeah, now if it's even like a, a decent, like a middling matchup, like you said, the, the yeah. rushing, you get you get 60, you know, 63 rushing yards, even 40 yards. That's an extra passing touchdown. I mean, that stuff racks up. Uh, we both value it. Uh, and he will never be priced like an elite quarterback. Yeah. Uh, so I think that uh, I'm I'm definitely more okay playing Trubisky in, in sort of those average matchups. What about you? Yeah, I think I agree where I'm at least considering him, considering him now, whereas in the past it was hard to consider him even in plus spots. But I think it's not even just like the Thanksgiving game in this game. Like the Detroit, the first Detroit game, he played decently well there. Then he had that, that terrible game against the Rams. And then the Giants game showed a couple flashes, too. He still had a bad pick. Like, he's still going to make bad plays because, like, there's nothing stable about Trubisky. But if he can still have good plays, too, I think that kind of counteracts that. So I'm feeling a lot better about him. Uh, I think he's intriguing. I think that he does upgrade this entire offense. 